What's up guys, this is Hatai7RCT bringing you another live stream for you guys uh, this time around. Something that I wanted to do, uh, been looking forward to, and have had the chance uh, during the holidays now and Thanksgiving to uh, kind of like really go into it, which is uh, Warframe for Switch. I mean, the title basically uh, way back in 2013 I think it was, I did kind of wet my feet a little bit in, in it, but not really didn't get too much into it, since the game tends to be a little bit uh, overwhelming in terms of how deep, incredibly deep the systems became with time. So now is a, a great time for me, given uh, all the time that I spent on the Switch, and given that I have plenty of titles on the PC to dive in as well, which is kind of curious because I kind of was playing Destiny 2 <laughs> when this came around, and just like Warframe, I kind of missed out on Destiny. Really, kind of, I was kind of overwhelmed with all these first-person shooters and stuff, and I was, you know, wanting like new experiences and stuff. And given that I'm not such a big online player, I kind of let that one skip by. And recently, with the whole uh, Promotion with Destiny 2 being free, I, I got into it. Long story short, I was really, really like hooked uh, for a time there. And when I saw that Warframe was almost about to be released, I kind of jumped onto this. And man, I can't get away from it. This is, uh, it has evolved a lot uh, for the better, of course. I mean, I can't say enough about the game so far. It's incredible. Um, me being the person that I hate these uh, whole loot boxes and pay to win kind of situations that I usually stay clear completely. This is not one of those titles, dudes. I mean, you pay. Yes, you do. You, you have a currency. You do pay if you want to. But thankfully, is mostly co cosmetics. You know, um, you can buy weapons. You can buy Warframes and stuff. But it's up to you. I mean, basically, the fun, to me, in my opinion at least, is that most of the fun that you're going to get from this game is doing the grinding, doing the crafting, you know, involving in the story. And they have really evolved the game from something that was a, let's say, a basic a core concept. And they, they basically, with the community, made it grow into something that it's really hard to, you know, it's hardly tangible anymore. So, without further ado, let's forget about all that stuff. I'll cover the more technical aspects of the game later on on a shorter video. I just want to play, to be honest. I, I just want to get on and play. I hope you guys are doing great. You're all welcome, as I'm writing here, to the chat. You guys got any questions and stuff like that just let me know or if you just want to drop by and say hi really would appreciate it but yeah let's go into it so yeah there is currency in the game and yes you can pay for stuff but again it's mostly like if you want to skip through weeks of grinding and I get it, I understand it, especially for me, for example, that I tend not to be too much of an online player. I don't have enough time to kind of like build clans and communities and stuff to come together and play for hours and hours because I don't have the time. I wish I did, but I don't. So I tend to play solo most of the time and the game allows for that. It just makes it a whole lot harder to get stuff, but it's still fun. Full screen here. Oh, yeah. Got some coffee there because I need to stay awake for this. There is so much so much stuff in this game that I, I really 
it would take like forever to try to explain everything at least for those who are approaching it for the first time it it's mind-boggling the, the the stuff that you have to do here all the different little components and stuff hell I could spend a few hours just going through the menus and showing you guys like the inventory and, and what is uh, what can be done and stuff like that and yeah basically this is the ship this is where you guys are gonna be spending a lot of your time and if you don't want to go to individual parts and stuff you just press the, the, the menu and just go straight to whatever it is that you want to do in my case I'm gonna go to the arsenal because I did a mission or two last night and I don't know this is basically what I got I have upgrades I'm about to max out I think it maxes out at 30 level 30 um, there's so much more that I can do here how come how come none of my huh that's weird I had all of my mods for some reason off of my configuration okay let's correct that real quick because I can't be running around fast deflection that's this is one that I need to have this is how angry mm. I may Simon bitch to scared me mm. oh yeah that's a serious mod but I want this one Direction, yeah, I, I could use this one. So I have 29 energy health for 20. That's extra nice, right there. Uh, steel fiber. Let's get continuity, but this one is flawed. Both of them are flawed, actually. But let's put it up there. kind of crept out on me there okay I'm back to it let's go down here I got the exidious one and let's get something here electricity resistance let's put this one here boom still have some more space I have a steel fiber plus armor really good I still have one more space here let's 
give it to this one. All right. Now I built this one recently, and so far it's working pretty good. If I may say, Operator, your chosen Warframe suits you. Ha, ha. Oh, 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 oh. How funny. How funny. Well, fire rate. Should I use this? Let's, let's go to try. Now I know this is boring, but bear with me because this is something that if you intend to play this game, you're going to be doing a lot. Moving around mods, upgrading mods. It's very addicting. Now my companion. I don't have any mods for my companion. And no way to upgrade. Do I have anything to upgrade? All the slots are being used, so yeah. Alright, so this is done on this side. Because this is the loadout I'm going to be using for now. I have several slots for future Warframes and stuff. I got a few Platinum that I'm, I intend to save for something better. You can see it's kind of behind my head here yeah um, let's see what else upgrade my mods perhaps I have 11,000 let's see if I can upgrade my warframes one is it possible to upgrade my vitality let's give it a try and see if it happens Three thousand eighty. No, actually, what I need is the shields. Shield. This is something that I can. Oh yeah. But I'm gonna run out of endo. Let's leave it at one sixty. Now my shields are gonna go up. Now let's go into missions, make some loot. Cause I still have stuff that I really wanna pick up. As you're gonna see here in the foundry, these are the things that I've managed to get blueprints for. I know it's not a lot. I know it's not like really high-end stuff but I'm starting to get there little by little um, I have a weapon here but I don't have the stuff for it I have another weapon here that I don't have stuff for it I actually managed to get this one but I don't have that warframe I have this new warframe but I need to get all of these parts but I started doing this one last night furious so let's go grab and equip that so I can try it out. And that is going to be, I'm going to change my Lato, Lato, or something like that, level 14 for the Furious one. I need to see if this is actually going to be better. Yes, it is. Impact, puncture, okay. Yeah, so that's the new gun, so to speak. Let's see what we can upgrade it with. Basically nothing, because it only has two points. And most of these things, I can't put anything on it. Right now, only ammo maximum, this trick mag. So let's do that. And let's test it out. Now, of course, you can also uh, change the appearance. Uh, 
what I do, I just simply copy the Warframe colors on it. That's it. Just make it color coordinate for now. Since I'm not really attached to any of these weapons yet, no need for me to put like any uh, custom colors or anything like that. Haven't felt the need yet. So now that we have two weapons, I'm gonna go out to missions to level up this newly acquired weapon. This pistol, hopefully it's good. And of course, keep upgrading this one, which is recent also, the assault rifle. My katana blade and exalted blade are, this one is basically maxed out. So this is, this is, this ain't going anywhere. Let's go ahead and do some missions. Now, of course, another thing is, of course, um, that I'm playing solo here. If I went public, which I'm doing right now, I'll basically have other people coming in to do, you know, to help out with the missions and stuff like that. Let's do one like that. Hey, what's up, bad luck? How's it going, man? Let's go into navigation here and see what we have on the map. Now, just to give you guys an idea, uh, this is Earth. This is where you start off. You have a whole bunch of places to check here. A lot of these places have come with uh, expansions and stuff like Plains of Idolon. 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 I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to pronounce that, but. And this is just this planet, but if you zoom out, look at, <laughs> you have a shit ton of places to go. A shit ton. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I'm, I'm just getting back into it little by little. Uh, Tano, there's a time-limited mission alert available. Check navigation. Nope, I'm not going there. Uh, infestation line. Uh, no. There's some other... These these missions right here, like the ones that she called out and the ones that you'll find on the right-hand side of the list, these are missions like to go and grind for stuff or farm for stuff. The story ones are right here. So this is my next, let's say, uh, part of the campaign, if you can call that. In order for me, and I just went ahead and I took my cursor off of it. Crap. In that list, it'll give you what you need, what is required of you in order for you to advance the story. And unfortunately, I need to start doing that because I focus so much on just getting stuff and just trying to get like stuff to, to craft that I, I completely forgot that you need to advance the story a little bit in order to get certain things. So... I'm going to start focusing a little bit more and, and advancing it a little further. Um, right now here I have two of these, actually three, that I need to do. I need to kill one more Eximus enemy on Venus, rescue a hostage at. Those hostage ones, they drive me insane because you can fail them like really easily, especially if you go solo. But since I went public, maybe, who knows, maybe I'll find somebody who will help me out and then defeat Jackal at Fosa let's go do the rescue one I've been doing a lot of talking 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 I haven't been playing well bad luck it's great to have you I hope you guys are doing good sorry I haven't called yet I've been kind of busy I was planning to do it um give you a call after the stream and stuff I'm hoping uh, some of the other guys could, could drop by too and, you know, if they're not busy or something. We'll see. Okay, let's see what we got here. There is a prisoner here that is vital to our operations. Search yeah. for the holding location. Here, everything is kind of so fast-paced. 
like you gotta hack stuff and you gotta collect stuff and it it becomes a little overwhelming but it's so damn fun there's the new gun that I that I crafted that I just claimed let's see if it's any good there's you should no man you should because believe me in the past and believe me you know this is true I, I've never been like online I tend to avoid them and this one oh man I can't stay away from it man ever since I downloaded I've been trying the little time that I have available whatever to play more of the game but it'll suck you in man okay let's see if this one is any good Feels a little bit like a pea shooter. I got my sword for that. Do I have any? Oh yes, I do. You've been seen. So I need to hack the alarms now. This one needs some serious upgrading because it's taking too many shots to kill people. I'm gonna change to the rifle for a little while. I played it on PC too, but it was like way in the beginning. I, uh, actually, way before I made the jump over here to the States again. Okay, I need to hack an alarm because it's gonna keep on going and it's not gonna help. Of course, I got my companion, the Death Cube, which is very, very helpful. That little guy right up there. He's like my little Rubik's Cube of Death. And he's no joke. As soon as somebody opens the door or something, he starts shooting that shit. Come on. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> Only point, point 0.4 seconds left. Alarms have been reset. Panic button is the shit, man. I I I know it sounds cliche. I've said it like a million times already, but they are the new generation of treasure. What treasure used to be, you know, back in the day. They take any kind of hardware, but thankfully Nintendo's, and they just make the, the most out of it. Oh my god, this is becoming... That's what I want. I want something chunky. There you go. I had my doubts, believe me. I had my doubts with the game because when I knew that it was coming out for the Switch, I decided to re-download it again. Even though I had it in my library, I had to re-download it again and just give it a spin. And I started playing in 4K with a reduced resolution or a reduced, you know, scaled it down a little bit, but it was in 4K and it looked amazing. I was like, how the hell are these guys going to pull that off? But... I gotta say, man, I much rather like the control as it is here, everything moving um, smooth. This is probably the first game that I actually prefer this version over the PC version, even though the PC version looks a lot more cleaner and, and much more detail and stuff. It just feels like right on the system. I don't know. It just feels right. Oh. Okay, it's about time I stop. Doing the 
chatter box and stop doing this mission because now where is this guy that I need to find? to move hold on a second I'm gonna have to move here my logo believe it or not my logo is in the way of me seeing how much power I have left there you go much better okay uh, oh start using some of the other powers but I don't have any gotcha bitch So I gotta gotta rescue somebody here. Ah, oh, fucking alarm. More cannon fodder for me to level up my gun because this right now as it is, it's not really that good. It has a better fire rate than the gun that I had, but it's way less powerful. Ooh, a new mod. Okay, where's the... Music soundtrack sounds a little bit like Stranger Things.
Alarms successfully hacked. Uh. The location is returning to normal security levels. These missions can take from anything, like anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes. I've been in, in missions that seem very simple and... Yeah. I think they're designed that way because they're you know, designed to have like, a lot of players playing co-op and stuff. I gotta stop running around and just simply go to my objective because looks like heavy activity ahead. Why do I have enemies marked here? mods here at least not in this stage hell I keep going up and down the elevator and it's not taking me where it's supposed to So now I go where? This side. And there's nothing here. That door won't open either. Must be on another level. You see if I go out. There you go. Dirt. Kill. You are mm. approaching the holding area. Careful. If the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. Exactly, and that's what pisses me off because usually they, they don't give me enough time. Okay, I'm gonna have to use a rifle on this one. Please don't screw this up. The bypass is done. Go. Running out of time. 
This is the jail. Our hostage is in one of these cells. No! Oh, crap. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Tenno. Prisoner located. We need to get them back to command in one piece. Find your way to the exits, and don't leave the subject behind. I can fight too. Give me a weapon. What the? Oh, no, you won't. Oh my god, you annoying son of a bitch. There you go. That's cute guy. Got him. Where is the guy? Dude, where you go? What son of a bitch? Don't go ahead. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Come on, come on. Still good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Doors are locked. Time to break in. Oh, fuck. Oh shit, I got dizzy now. Get that. Alright, dude. Yep. This is it. Come on. This is it. Almost there. Hostage is almost dead. Holy crap. Come on, don't keep me running. Fucking amazing, dude. Oh shit, I didn't open the door. Ah! You idiot. No! Override successful. Let's get going. We've got robots inbound. Oh my god, there's still more to go? Jesus. Oh, there goes the alarms. alarms have been no, no, sent. don't kill my dude. Ah, they've got me. Tano, help. Shit. He's falling and he's can't, he can't get up. Alright! Return second. Ooh. Backstabbing son of a... Okay, let's get out of here. I 
I didn't know I could revive him though. <laughs> that shit caught me by surprise. And at least he's smart. Ooh, that's a mod. Come on, dude. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Forget about that shit. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Let's use a pea shooter. Nice. What? Oh, shit. Wait. This guy is fighting off with karate? What the fuck happened to the weapon? Oh, he gave it back to me. Dude, take the weapon back. There you go. Come on, dude. We gotta, we gotta go this way. Elevator. Yes. Vapor Specter times 10 blueprint. I don't know what the hell that is, but. And that's the way we advance the story. Oh, man. This game is so good. Bad luck. I'm telling you, man. It's freaking. And the thing is, I already bought, I already bought the, uh, already bought the the spaces that you need. Cause you need to buy if you want to get like more stuff, like mods, weapons, and stuff like that. You need to buy the spaces for them too. Um, and that can only be bought with platinum. Now, like I said, I have some platinum that I have saved up there. You can see on top of my hat, I have a few platinum there that I'm saving to get another uh, Warframe. But I don't want to do it just yet. I want to wait one of those specials. Oh, yeah. It's a hell of a lot different, dude. <laughs> I mean, believe me, dude. They, they've changed so much. They've changed so, so much. And they've added, along with the changes, they've added so much. I don't know why, at the time, I, I was under the impression that this was done with the Crytek engine. And I've been researching everywhere, like, from the beginning. They keep saying that it's done with the in-game, uh, in uh, in-house engine, but there was something about that first iteration when I downloaded for the first time that it it was screaming Crytek, at least uh, the graphics engine. And I know that I noticed now when I downloaded again for PC that it was different, but it still looks amazing. I mean, the the detail is like it's too much. Um. But I guess with everything that happened, you know, a lot of people were moving away from the Crytek engine. I mean, even Star Citizen, which still hasn't released. I don't know if I'm going to be alive when it does. Um, that one started with the Crytek engine, and they moved. Now they're using Lumberyard, which is from Amazon. It's different. I can't say I like it better because I really don't. I kind of like more how it looked, the, the look and feel of the Crytek suited a lot better as Star Citizen, but I guess it was too ambitious for them. Uh, so, okay. So, I did that mission. And this is the stuff that I'm talking about, um, Bad Luck. Like, you have the arsenal. You can change everything. You can customize so much stuff that you can be here for hours and hours. Your companion. And I know this is not anything new for you that you've been you know you played Warcraft for so many years you know that you have like tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff you have to micromanage but the way it's done here it actually feels like I, I'm not I don't want to say more meaningful but it feels like you're taking like the best stuff from uh, Ninja Gaiden and Metal Gear Solid 
and you're adding like the Witcher type of customization and, and a whole bunch of RPG elements into it. So that's, I think, the, the closest that I can come to describing the gameplay. Now, my, my Skana, my Katana here, is already almost maxed out. It's level 22. My Exalted Blaze is already maxed out. I want to buy some more See, I have just enough to buy, you know, at least one of these. But I'm going to wait for one of those specials that they, they have. That it can go, like, in, in the dailies. When you receive the dailies, they give you um, the news, excuse me, that they have discounts, like, from 25 all the way to 75%. So, imagine, if I can kind of save 75% and catch one of those, that would be that would be awesome. But I'm itching already to try another mag, another uh, Warframe, I'm sorry. And I have the blueprints for one already. But, and I have the foundry, I can do it. It's right here, gotta. This is another one. But I still need to get the, the parts. But I've read around that I won't get to these parts until I further the story. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. I got a helmet here for another Warframe, which I don't have, which is called Loki. Um, and I have a, another blueprint here for another companion. If I want to replace or, you know, tag team the, the, the Death Cube that I got. But it costs 15,000 credits and I only have 13, so... That's, uh, sorry, yeah. That's another cool thing. Two things that this game and Panic Button, of course, managed to pull off with this one. Number one, you don't need, like, all, uh, apparently all the free-to-play games on the Switch are going to be, uh, they're not going to require the Nintendo Online. Number two, this one has regular voice chat. Yep, you don't need the phone app, you don't need anything, just put on the headsets on, connect them, and that's it. You got a voice chat, so get it, and get, I don't know if, if Rafi will want to play or whatever, and we'll get together, we'll make a clan, I'm talking serious now, before I said it with Destiny, it was kind of hard to match up because of, you know, my time, your time, or whatever, but once we have a clan, that clan is permanent, it's going to stay there, so... You know, and the great thing is that you can work, you can work towards doing your goals and it'll all help the clan. So if I go on and you're not there, you know, we keep furthering uh, whatever it, it is we're trying to do, for farming or whatever. So, yeah, this one, this one is going to be a keeper, dude. This one is going to be a keeper for a, a pretty good time. So let's see what else we got. We gotta tick those boxes because I want to advance the story. I really, really want to get to Mercury. I want to open this one. I want, and I already have it. All I have to do is defeat the Jackal at Foza on Venus. Where is Foza? Where is Foza? Foza? Foza is locked. Foza is locked, damn it. That's because I still haven't beaten these two levels in order to unlock this one that'll take me to Foza. Fuck. Okay, but if I do this, if I will do this, this will give me the quest once awake. And if I do once awake, I'll be able to have the arch wings, which are. <laughs> Which is basically the Scrander, uh, remember the Scrander, the, the messenger, he can, the, to make him fly, to make him fly, dude. So yeah, I want to do that. I'm going to show you here in a second. The Archwing. Check him out, dude. Look at this shit. You have this one that has healing powers of course I could buy it I could buy it. I have enough platinum to buy it but I don't want to I'm too close to actually getting it in game I don't want to spend the money on that see it has these nice um, healing 
stuff that it does while you're on it, while you're traveling with it. And it has its own armor and energy and health and all that shit. I'm telling you, man. Then I have this one, which goes perfectly. Because this one is destruction. And it has its own powers and stuff. It's it's fucking cool, dude. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm all over this shit. Alright. Now, I did notice... I need to level up that gun, man. That gun is not doing me any favors. It feels like a pea shooter. The problem is, it's not leveled up enough for me to... For me to add any more mods. I need to level it up. It's only level 3. I can add a little puncture to it. Yeah, why not? Anything is good at this point. Make it stronger. Puncture went from 14% to 15. That'll do it. It'll give it a little oomph. And is there anything I can add? You know what? Let me give the the assault rifle a break and get myself a shotgun. I need my shotgun. I need a powerhouse here because Operator, you have remembered well how the Tenno arm themselves. And let's go to the next one. I need to open that. So I need to open all. These are already available. The, this route down here is still locked, as you can see by the little lock there. So the best course of action is doing this one. Spy mission, which I don't like. Or since this is already open, I just go straight to capture. Capture. <laughs> okay, let's do that. And I forgot I'm still public. If you want to do missions by yourself without having anybody come in, because while you're public, anybody can come in and, you know, join whatever mission you're doing, you know, and you end up playing together and stuff. But if you want to go solo, you need to go up to the little icon in the corner up and just set uh, the little uh, solo icon. As you can see here, yeah, we got, we got people already in here. All right. They're having the fun without me. We cannot let our target know we're here. Track them down quickly. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I'm not... These guys don't, don't seem like the stealthy type. I got a shotgun, baby. I don't care. But I am going to get my stuff. Target located. Bring them in. Get him. Get your ass over here. Oh, yes, me. No, 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 not you, not you. 
captured, bitch, and I did it. <laughs> Mission complete. The captain has been escorted to the extraction point. And I'm well getting done. the fuck out of here. The mission Looks was like to capture that guy. But my other companions were so busy just trying to get loot and stuff. Now I can actually have some fun here and kill so I can get some loot. Five more kills. Four. Anybody else? Any takers? Fair's waiting for me, yeah. I was all so fucking close. Yeah. They're actually waiting for me. I made them wait. I was trying to get that. I mean, if if you delay too long, if you stay too long, it has a timer, so it's gonna extract anyway. Shit, this was far. 400 and something meters. Fuck. Let's see if I can make it before the timer. I didn't know I didn't know I was so far off. Okay. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. This is good. Like I said, if you're if you're having if you have it on public, even though you don't have your own group of people, because they go in randomly. You need to make a clan, build a clan, or join one in order to have like those players that you really want to like chat with and, and keep having with you all the time. Didn't get much in the way of loot, but at least I got some endo for, for doing the, the blueprints and stuff at the foundry. Got two mods. No. That is one thing that, and that's, it's the whole game that's is made that way. You know, in a lot of interviews with um, digital, what's the name of them again? Digital, 
digital eclipse or something like that is that they they don't have you know um, built in the crossplay is not something that they had in mind at the time you know they have different versions and different versions they are all like independent and stuff which is a shame but it's cool that they at least have the feature because that's exactly what I did I brought my account from PC and instead of migrating like let's say it takes it from there and brings it over Operation. here and then you can't you do it over there what it does it makes a copy Me of too. your account on PC if you have like something you know worth moving over you know um, a lot of stuff won't move over like some of the platinum and some of the deluxe stuff that you buy from PC and of course this one is not up to date with the PC version meaning that this one doesn't have this one is up to the mask of the mask of something and right now the PC is up to Fortuna so I think in the beginning of next year they're gonna get parity they're gonna be up to date at the same at the same uh, rate so yeah it's you know I I did that I just started playing it on on PC and started advancing it so I can get you know familiarized with the game and see how it was or whatever and when the switch version came out I just migrated you know and it makes a copy but I can still play the other one but the other one is gonna is gonna be exactly at the same place that I left it when I made the copy for the switch that's how that works you cannot take it back it's only one way you can only do it like once I think I don't know if you can do it a second or third time like maybe later on let's say you drop the switch one and you go back and you play some more then you want to do it again I don't know if that works to be honest but it it was pretty seamless it worked like right off the bat <clears throat> all you need is to have the, the Nintendo account but you need that for everything and the setup is is really quick you don't have to wait you don't have to wait for patches or none of that crap it's just it works that's it it's okay dude you can you can bring Rafi Ray uh, Ray Gonzalez wh whoever you want to bring in you know as long as we make a clan and you know it has to be has to be four I think and the other thing that's really cool to the switch version is that you can actually within one Wi-Fi spot you can have four players playing at the same time so you can have the couch multiplayer plus have the whole online stuff with other people so we can be in the same room with all the systems and play as long as the bandwidth allows of course and one Wi-Fi spot and play all together you know it's, it's fucking amazing so I, now I got this one right here, Aphrodite. I'm going to play this one. I'm going to see if I can reach Mobile Defense. Actually, I like these. And it's a good thing, too. Oh, I'm joining a group. Okay. There you go. You see it on screen? The people who are joining in. This one is defense. This one is you have to go to a place or a thing, an object or something, and you have to stand there and defend it from waves and waves and waves of enemy trying to destroy it or kill it or whatever. Apparently, there's only two of us, three of us now. Brongulus. J Danger. If you, I don't know if I have the voice chat activated. If you guys can hear me, then hi. I didn't check the settings for that. It's pretty straightforward. Just go to a... This is a mobile defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. <laughs> I can't do this without you. Yeah. I know how this is going to play out. Let me put my map on the screen because if not I'm going to get lost. This will only get more difficult. 
No shit. Get to a terminal and prepare for enemy resistance. Somebody did a boo boo. Terminal spotted. Upload me and prepare to defend. I'm right. in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Nah, I, play I never played it like this before, though. Let's have some fun now. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Holy shit, start getting crazy now. Completed. Move on. Alright, we gotta go to another place. Can you get the cube? What's this? Ooh! I got a rare uh, object. Somebody better have the data cube. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. reached. Drop me in and defend our position. Crap. I can't wait to get the arch wing so I can fly. What the hell? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, crap. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that it froze. Host migration? What the? Oh, wait. Okay. I guess that mission went... What the hell was that? kick me out I don't know what's going on I'm gonna keep doing the mission because it appears here that I'm still in uh oh and I don't have the data mass fantastic so these guys disappeared I need access to a terminal find one and patch me in yeah Yeah, I can't get in. That was weird. It's like uh, it looked like a like one of those disconnects, but that that host migration crap that kind of scared me. It looked like it looked kind of freaky. The thing is, I don't have the data mass. One of the guys had it. One of the guys were were carrying it when we did the first one so that means that I need to go back 
and get that shit. I think I'm much better off if I just abort the mission. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Since I'm here... Since I'm here, I'm going to change the solo and do it on my own because I don't want to risk having that crap happen again. Alright, here we go. This time, no funky business. I'm gonna do this one and then I'll leave it right there. I've been going on for an hour and 13 already. It's gonna make for one long video on YouTube. I mean, it all depends if I if I actually pull off this mission quick, I might actually get to the Mercury one and leave it there. This is a mobile defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. See, this is the I thing do this without you. that the guy who disconnected was carrying. Be good Your because clear. no detection from enemy sensors is gonna actually help me to level up the pistol, the, the new gun. Stealth kill. Yeah. It does. Thank God it happened early in the mission and not when we were about to to leave. Can you imagine? After doing the whole mission. Another thing that I like a lot about the game is the fact that the sound, man. The sound is like really chunky and really heavy, you know gives it a lot of weight. Here we go. And I don't know if you've seen Stranger, Stranger Things on Netflix. The music is just like the intro. <laughs> it's just like the intro from Stranger Things. Ooh, I got something here. A science star. Nice. Now, it's a lot slower when you do it on your own, of course. But at least you get to pick and choose. You can grab stuff along the way. And when you're doing it with random people, you can't you can't coordinate. Cause everybody wants to do their own shit. Okay, but I gotta get there quick because I have to Put this thing in and then also defend it. 
Terminal spotted. Upload me and prepare to defend. Stealth kill, baby. I love those. There we go. Now it's time to kill, kill, kill. This will take a moment. Continue to defend. My shotgun is a beauty. comes first. That would be kind of nice. Here is a terminal. Get me in. And get ready to defend. I'm ready. Bring it on. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Get the fuck out! Bitch! Oh, there's a guard. Dead bitch. <laughs> Here's another one unsuspecting. And Oh! I did it wrong. No! No! Oh crap. Okay, I didn't lose the the, the data thing. That's what I was afraid of. This way. Time to use the exalted sword. Location reached. 
drop me in and defend our position. Okay, I'll use it later. One more to go. Let's do this. Come on, bring it. This will take a moment. Holy shit, what blew me up? These freaking flying things that give energy to the... Okay, I'm tired of this shit. I'm using the shotgun. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Fuck you, fuck you. That's it. Come on, Death Cube, help me out here. The odds were against us, Tenno, but we did it. Mission yes. complete. Fuck yeah. Slice and dice, slice and dice, baby. Slice and dice. Get over here before my energy runs out, damn it. Like killing some more. Anybody else? It's all right, don't worry. We actually got through the mission, even with that little hiccup. Tell Rafi that I hope he gets better soon. I just want to check. Just want to check and see if everything is here. Yeah. Everything ranked up. Very good. 
Actually, my gun leveled up to rank 6, so that's good. Um, let's see if the Mercury one actually opened up for us. I'm hoping because I took that shortcut. I don't know if it's going to allow... Yep! Oh shit, I'm going to have to do this. Even if the video is a little longer. This is the assassination one. I have to kill that boss in order to get that that story open, the one that's gonna give me the the flying ability. So I have to do this one, whether I want to or not. Let me see if I can do anything to improve my, because I don't know how tough that one is gonna be. Any upgrades I can do to myself? Nope, I don't have any space there for me. How about the shotgun? Nope, no more space there. I could... Critical? 60%. I could probably bring that up a little bit. Okay, blunderbuss. And furious. Now I can actually put something in it. Hornet strike. 20 more Everything damage. Everything in Boris, yep. Operator? Yep, yep, Is yep. that a pun? Hmm. I will yep. attempt to bypass this vault. I like this. Yep. So I gave 20% more damage to the pistol, which it needed it. But the cool thing about that pistol is that even though it's not as damaging as the one I had before, this one, if you leave the trigger on, it goes full full auto, like a, like a machine gun. So that's kind of good to have, especially if you're trying to hit somebody in the head. So, I need to upgrade Blunderbuss and Scana. There's not anything I can add here because I don't have three point mods. Um, it's okay. This one is max rank, so I'm not even gonna bother. How about the uh, Death Cube uh, machine gun? It's already maxed out the slots. Alright, so let's go into mods and upgrade that Blunderbuss right away so we can go to that boss. to mods and go to pro, um, primary yeah blunderbuss but this is not the blunderbuss that I have this is the blunderbuss that I have okay let's bring it up ah, I don't have enough endo I'll just give it a short a little bit of upgrade here to 75% critical chance. I think that'll do good. Alright, so that's already upgraded. Let me just verify that the, the thing went through. Blunder bus should be 75 right now. Yep, 75%. Let's go. Let's go kill this boss. Well put together, operator. Now get out there and cut down the and make the Lotus proud. Let's go to Fosa. Assassination. Yeah. Kill. 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 I don't know, for some reason, another vibe that I get from this game is it has this Metroid vibe to it. The ships, the color scheme, everything, it screams like Metroid. Assassination contracts are not to be taken lightly. Eliminating this target will have a significant impact on enemy forces. Search the area. Leave no survivors. In an attempt to exert power and authority, the Corpus recently introduced their most lethal security proxy yet. Determine its location aboard oh, this vessel and destroy it. Oh my god, they sound like you seen. And you. Okay, I need to find.
It is, man. It just feels that way. I wish they could work something out with uh, with Nintendo so they can include uh, Samus Warframe. How cool would that be? A Samus Warframe that you can modify and put the cannons and all that stuff. Little death cube is a thing of beauty. He don't care, he just kills. Oh, you're buying... Oh, you're buying platinums. I'm not at the point right now where I... I have any mods in specific that I need and I still haven't explored the whole you know trading aspect of the game but I will be looking into that soon I just want to get that uh, flying thing the arch wing I'm trying to move the story along so I, I can be able to do that at least that's what I'm doing now that was uh, in regards to the question left by Ethan Very little platinum that I have right now. I'm saving it to see if I buy a Warframe later on. But, or for any of the specials that might come up. What the hell is this? Exploding? Yeah, exploding barrel. So I'm assuming that I need to go this way. Nope. All right, that's nice to know, Ethan. Really appreciate the uh, gesture and the comment too. Like I mentioned before, when I started the stream, I'm kind of new to this whole thing. It's it's super amazing. I really love it. I wish I had gotten into it a long time ago, but unfortunately, you know. feel that I'm moving away from the objective instead of that's because that's actually what I'm doing thanks buddy appreciate that This is the same right, deadly robot, which has become extremely problematic for ourselves in the field. Come on, seriously? Sure, man, no problem. I'll look you up. If that's the case, I'll look you up, buddy. Reset. 
Alright, let's go for it. Do not dismiss the Jackal as just another Corpus proxy. This will be unlike any enemy you have faced yet. I'm expecting that. Do not dismiss the Jackal as just another Corpus proxy. I heard you the first this will time. Be unlike any enemy you have faced yet. I didn't know that Lotus would nag you so much. Here it is. The assassination target is here. Wipe them out. Oh shit, boss fight. Oh shit. Doing any damage? Feels like I'm not even denting the guy. Something that you need to disconnect? Okay. Oh, fuck. His legs. Yup, his legs take damage. No wonder. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. Come on! I got a leg charge. And get some ammo too. I'm not fucking running out of ammo. There you go. Hit him! Hit him! More! Come on, I gotta jump that shit. I keep forgetting. Charge my shield. Yeah, I, I noticed that. <laughs> okay, I recharge the shield. Jesus, stop with the stomping of all. Oh, fuck. Let me move out of here. Okay, I got this. I got this. Fucking stomping, dude. Oh, he took out my shields. I'm 
Come on, recharge. That's cute, it's being overwhelmed. Oh boy. Oh crap, they killed me. Okay, I cannot. There you go. Is it? Is it? Bullshit. Are you down? Taking down the VIP. Now get to extraction. Geese! They spotted you. You don't say those. Thank you for stating the obvious. Looks yeah, like whatever guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> I am out of here. Oops. Okay, if you insist. to leave but you didn't let me okay there's a uh, alarm here which I don't know for alarm what successfully hacked the location is returning to normal security levels well I'm not seeing normal right now I think this is the one that we needed in order to open that. And we're out of here. Yes. They won't be bothering us anymore. Let's get out of here. Ooh, Rhino system blueprint. Okay, so I got a blueprint for Rhino. Another another of the warframes that is, is pretty is pretty cool. Thanks, buddy. And I think this is gonna be it. I mean, for now. I mean, for the stream because I'm gonna keep playing it after I turn everything off. But I think it was a pretty nice little stream. Um, Messages in your inbox, operator. Uh oh. Um, Here we go. They are not as encrypted as they should be. Ooh, Jackal is pissed off. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's just take one last look at uh, navigation to see where we're at with that... Um, Mercury Junction. Everything is complete. So now, if we go back, we go here. Hold on a second. Let me 
to go to quest. The once a week is open. Right next to it is the arch wing. That's what I was talking about. Operator, are you that means that I could technically I could go in here. Let me check real quick. I think that here it activates the junction. I have to fight like a like a, a mid boss, and then it opens up Mercury for another place to to you know another planet. As long as you have the requisites, yep. And Spike Spectre. That's it. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and now we have a new planet. Been updated with a new quest. I don't know, man. And I can qualify for mastery rank three. That interests me a lot. I got 1000 salvage, both tour blueprint, and the two stories that I was wanting to unlock, they're already there. So, yep, I got two more mods. So yeah, everything good. Let's see the new planet. And we have Mercury. Woohoo! We got a new planet. So yeah, guys, I think that was a pretty good run. Now from the starting planet Earth to uh, Venus and then Mercury, we're on our way to opening up all of these here I have to go to at one point later on to the dojo there's some stuff that I need to check there but yeah that was our run for today I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did and that's gonna be all for now so I'll see you guys later I hope you guys take care and peace out game on see you guys later